Hi guys, so today is going to be my everyday winter tutorial and this is called my inner winter uh, makeup look. It's basically the look that I always wear during winter at the moment is what the colors that I mainly grab the most. And I also just did a review on the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. Make sure that you check out the video of that in the info box for you guys. If you want to see how I do my everyday makeup, please stay tuned. So the first thing I went ahead and I did is that I applied my MAC Paint Pot and Paint Really all over my eyelid up to my brow bone and this is one of my favorite eyeshadow bases to use. This look is very basic and you're going to see colors that you've seen me use quite a few times and you probably hate them because I use them so much but literally you guys, they're my favorite colors that I tend to go for the most on daily basis so this is kind of like my everyday kind of winter look at the moment. So I'm just going to be taking my fluffy brush and this is from MAC and this is the 224 brush which is a big fluffy blending brush that I love to use in my crease. And the first color I'm going to be using is called Cork. As you guys can see the pan of this, it's just, it's very sad but the, but the good thing is is that I do have another one so I am set for a new cork shadow. I'm just going to pick up this eyeshadow with the brush and I'm just going to apply this in my crease. So once I have it placed in the crease I'm going to be taking Coquette just to make it a little bit more intense with the same brush and I'm going to apply it right on top of it. Next I'm taking a small shader brush and I'm going to be taking Coquette and I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line and make sure that you blend it with the colors on top because I see a lot of people applying it and they don't really blend over here and it looks really weird so I just like to really blend both colors together and then I'm just gonna take cork and apply it right on top of it just to create an, like a nice shadow-ish effect going on I'm just gonna be taking my big flat shader brush and I'm gonna be taking brulee and I'm going to blend 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 that brown out and also as a highlight right under my brow bone I'm just gonna be taking that fluffy brush again and I'm gonna be taking Omega and I'm going to just feather out the crease colors and this is Omega is one of my favorite color to blend colors if you guys know what I mean um, Omega and Cork to be honest, but Omega is one of what I've been experimenting the most with now and I'm just really in love. So next I'm going to be taking a small little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be taking Nylon, which is my favorite shadow ever. And I'm going to dust this baby in the tear duct area or the inner corners of the eye. I don't know how you call this or whatever you like to call it, you can place it over there. And I love this color. Every time I look sleepy or tired, I just apply this in there and it just makes my whole look so awakened. It looks like I've been awake for a good 24 hours. Next, I'm just going to be taking a really pale eyeliner. This is from uh, MAC as well. This is the Chromographic Pencil in NC15 and W20 that you can only get at the pro stores. And I'm just going to apply this pencil to my waterline. It's basically a pencil that's going to make your eye look really bright, really awakened, look bigger. Um, you can also use white eyeliner if you have one. I do have one, but I don't know where it is at the moment. I believe it's in my train case. But I just like to apply this pencil inside. And they also have it in a different shade as well if you have darker skin. Um, I highly recommend you to check uh, Mac Pro Store or even Mac Online. Just go to the Pro section and you can find these. So I'll go ahead and apply my liquid eyeliner on top like so. And I'm going to be using um, my 
Fushisinch Formula Lash Booster in Ultra Black, but I also been discovering this little stuff right here. This is the MAC Liquid Last Liner, which is a waterproof, and I've been like playing around with this as well. So I'll go ahead and apply these on, and I'll be back for the finished look. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys the mascara I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Double Extend. Uh, mascara in carbon black since I really want to finish this up since I already bought it for something yeah I've been loving it so I'll go ahead and apply these two and I'll be back for the finished look hey guys this is the end of the video and it's time to show you guys what I used on my face for my lips I went ahead and I used my sore lip liner which is a light shade of like a burgundy color and then I went ahead and I used my most favorite, most worn lipstick at the moment called Diva. And it's a matte finish from MAC. So if you guys don't have Diva and you want like a dark burgundy but yet wine color but yet purple-ish, um, I highly recommend Diva. The other lip liner that I like to use with Diva is called Half Red. So if you can also get Half Red from MAC. I uh, would be very good and also sore would be very very good as well with it and then for contour I went ahead and I used my browsing powder in matte browns that looks like that and then I also took the both colors in here actually I took the bronzer and the highlighter and this is my uh, makeup forever sculpting kit in number two and I just took the bronzer to enhance my contour and I took the lighter shade to highlight under my eyes and look more awakened since I'm not today. And then I also, I'm trying out new blushes you guys, that you guys probably or probably not have seen me use them. I use Prism which is kind of like a, I don't know, like a bronzy kind of look and I applied it right there, right on top of my contour and I've been loving this technique lately. And then I also took uh, Desert Rose and I applied it to the apples of my cheeks for a little bit more like a rosy, wintry, tonedly face look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. This is my everyday winter look. Kidding you not, and it's called my inner winter look. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, please don't be shy to leave them all in the comments down below. I'll try to get to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.